Very neat. This is Poe, your Friday hostess this week here on Witches of the Moon. We are discussing the sabbats and esbats this week, and um, there are eight sabbats that make up the wheel of the year. Um, they are solar, seasonal, and they represent the cycles of birth, life, death, and rebirth. The eight sabbats are Samhain, or the Celtic New Year, or Halloween, Yule, or the winter solstice, um, Imolk, which marks the end of winter, beginning of spring, Ostara, or Easter, or the spring equinox, um, Beltane, Letha, or the summer solstice, which we just celebrated last week, um, Lugnasta, and Mabon, which is the autumn equinox. Um, the spots are celebrated in honor of the god, um, because it's said that it's his sacrifice of birth, life, death, and rebirth that make up these times of the year. As far as the Esbats are concerned, they are the celebration of the 13 full moons of the year. Um, and they are lunar and they represent the goddess at the height of her power. Um, what I mean when I say that the Sabbats are solar is that it is all dependent on um, on where the sun falls. So, for instance, and let me get into my notes here because I don't, I don't have that memorized, but I thought it was really neat that that's kind of how it works, is, you know, where the sun falls in particular. Um, hold on, let me get there. Almost there. Okay. So, um, Samhain usually falls between October 31st and November 2nd, and um, what determines what day it'll fall on is when the sun is at 15 degrees Scorpio. Um, for the winter solstice or Yule, it's typically on December 21st, and it's any time when the sun is at zero degrees Capricorn. Um, Imolk is usually on February 2nd, and that's when the sun is at 15 degrees Aquarius. The spring equinox, or Ostara, is usually on, the Mar on March 21st, and it's when the sun is at 0 degrees Aries. Uh, Beltane is typically on May 1st, but it falls anywhere between May 1st and May 5th, um, and that's when the sun is at 15 degrees Taurus. Midsummer or Letha is um, usually June 21st, and it's when the sun is at zero degrees Cancer. Lugnasta is on usually on August 1st, and that's when the sun is at zero degrees Leo, or 15 degrees Leo, sorry. And the fall equinox or Mabon is usually on September 21st, and that's when the sun is at zero degrees Libra. So that's what I mean when I say that um, it's their solar. As far as the Esbats are concerned, of course they're lunar, we know that, but um, because they are the celebration of the full moons. However, it's more relative to the, the, the phase of the moon. Because a lot of people celebrate the, the different phases, not just the full moons, but the different phases, the new moon or the dark moon, um, you know, the waning moon, the waxing moon, they celebrate, well, a lot of people celebrate any one of those things or all of those things, um, including the full moon. So, um, I think my favorite Sabbat has to be Beltane, um, simply because um, it's when the god and the goddess come together in their sacred rite to bring abundance and, um, and good harvest for, you know, the coming season and, um, bringing life back to earth. That's that's really what it's about. And I really enjoy that because I can go outside and I can actually see that. Whereas like, you know, I love Samhain, but I don't get to see like the leaves turn colors and, and all of that good stuff. It's, it's usually just because we don't have that here in southeastern Arizona. So, um, <laughs> But during Beltane, I can see those things. I mean, physically go outside and see those things. There's more animals, there's, you know, rabbits and birds and butterflies, and bugs, and, you know, you get to see the grass pop up and the deer. There's deer, deer everywhere. Um, so it's neat that I get to go outside and actually see the earth kind of making that transition. Um, 
Not only that, but it's it's also when it, you know, it starts to get warmer, the days are longer, it's easier for me to get out of bed because I'm not much of a morning person, but during that time of the year, during this particular time of the year, I find that I have more energy, I'm able to kind of hop right out of bed and, and have energy and I'm fine, whereas during like winter or colder months, um, I tend to want to be like a bear. Um, I want to hibernate and, you know, stay in my nice warm bed and, and just be there. <laughs> um, so that's another reason why I really love Beltane. I mean, I really have a strong connection to it. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's it's just one of those things that you can feel it in the air. It's just one of those times where you really can feel it in the air. Um, as far as how I celebrated that this year, um, what I did was I jumped the Beltane fire, which is a very traditional um, thing to do for Beltane. That dates back to, you know, the settlers and, and the farmers. Um, they believed that if you jump the Beltane fires that were lit um, on May Eve, um, that you would have luck and abundance and health and um, all of that good stuff for the coming harvest. Not only that, but it was very typical for them to walk their, their livestock through two, um, two fires to, you know, bring the same thing. Um, kind of get them through the summer, through the harvest season, so that they can, you know, eat them. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I did that um, to kind of cleanse myself, bring luck and, and health and, and happiness and all of that good stuff. I also made a wish box, um, and that's where I just put, you know, in a little box, just put a couple physical represent representation of the things that I want to come to fruition in the coming months, along with some, you know, wildflowers. I planted that outside, and it's doing quite nicely, actually. It's kind of exciting to see it. Um, I also, um, because Beltane and Samhain are the times of the year where the veil between our world and the spirit world is at its thinnest. Therefore, you're able to communicate with spirit a lot easier and a lot more freely, I guess. It's not quite as much of an effort um, on, their port, on their part or ours. So what I also did is I did a tarot card reading for myself because I feel like any type of divination, whether it be tarot cards, dowsing or pendulum work or runes or scrying or whatever it is, any type of divination I feel is very directly related to your communication with spirits. So what I did was I did a tarot card reading for myself, but also as far as that reading is concerned, another direct relation to Beltane is that the deck I used was a Heart of the Fairy Oracle deck. And if you know anything about Beltane, Beltane is the time where the Fae and the Fairies come out and play. Um, that's when they do their thing. That's when they start coming out and um, kind of being out and about. Um, even though I don't necessarily subscribe to the idea of fairies um, because I haven't really had any experience with them. I just thought it was a nice way to honor them, you know, just in case. Uh, covering all bases. Um, anyway, um, what else did I do? Um, I also, oh, I also made this mobile back here. This You see this thing hanging up here? Um, I made that um, as a variation on the maypole because I didn't have enough room on my altar, so I was like, mm, forget it, I don't need a pole, and just put the, you know, ribbons up and it'll be fine, it'll be pretty and, you know, beltane-y. <laughs> so I made that, um, getting my, my craft on. Um, oh geez, what else did I do? I'm trying to think what else I did. I did a couple, a couple of spells, um, just some things that I needed to um, kind of get done, and I mean, I didn't do anything like super elaborate, but um, it was a lot of it was private, but it, you know, it served its purpose, and it was like perfect. That day was like amazing. It was such an awesome day. Um, 
but that's how I celebrated Beltane this year. Um, and so far, that's really been the only Sabbat that I've been able to celebrate since I've really picked back up in my spirituality. Um, because last year I devoted it solely to study. Um, even though I did kind of celebrate Samhain last year with like an ancestor ritual and um, communion with cakes and ale. And um, I did some dowsing last year too for Samhain, but really that was kind of it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how I, I celebrated Beltane so far. Um, but as far as like the espats are concerned, the full moons are concerned, um, how I celebrate those is I, I open sacred space, I honor the goddess. Um, usually it is directly centered around the goddess. Um, I also charge my charge and cleanse my crystals, my tarot cards, my amulets, whatever other tools I, I feel need cleansing and charging, I do that during the full moon. Um, I, um, I also, when I put them outside under the full moon, I light a full moon incense to, as a way, as a way of giving an offering to the goddess for, you know, giving her energies to my tools. Um, so I do that. I also like to meditate during that time because I don't know about you guys, but when that time comes around, like... It, it seems like about the five, five days or so leading up to the full moon, I am just like, I can't sleep, I'm wired, I, I feel like I'm going 100 miles an hour and I'm just alert, like freakishly alert. Um, so what I like to do is I like to meditate and I typically do um, guided meditations because that's usually how I can communicate with my goddess. Um, so I like to do that during the full moons, during my full moon rituals. Um, lots of candles, <laughs> lots of candles, lots of incense. Um, and I also, um, every espat, I like to, um, I like to cleanse and bless my altar. Um, and I do that by, you know, just having a representation of all four elements, um, and saging, lots and lots of saging, <laughs> and um, and I also have a, a some holy water that I made myself that I use for that purpose. Um, but that's usually how I do it, um, and any kind of spell work that I want to do, or you know, even if it's I don't have any spell work I want to do, I sit there in meditation, just sit with the, the goddess and kind of um, just be in her energy for a while. I also like to go outside and you know, kind of soak up her energy, you know, um, stand under the moonlight, admire her beauty, um, just kind of be with her, um, you know, and look at her and just admire. <laughs> um, but that's usually how I celebrate my espets. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of, my video, that's my take on the sabbats and the espats and kind of what they mean to me and how I celebrate them, and which are my favorites. Um, so anyways, that's my video. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Blessed be.